Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is just mainly discussing my car on future projects. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, parts that just came in. It's mainly, mainly uh, excuse me, it's just mainly uh, wrap and a few, uh, uh, I wanna call them lip spoilers. Uh, they're just stuff that I wanna add on to the car, things that I wanted to adjust, things that I wanna wrap, um, things that I need to redo. Uh, just mainly that that type of stuff. Um, I want to discuss in this video the plans that I the Projects that I plan on doing Next April. Well, excuse me this April coming up. Why April just because it's a better Weather to stay out in the garage and just work on the car uh, lately. It's been very cold like for example right now I uh, I have the garage door open and it's quite cold but not as cold, that's the reason why I'm making this video. When it's too cold, I plan on just staying home. Uh, I don't like being in the garage. I just go in, get in the car, and then head out. Um, so right here off the bat, let's get started. The hood. When I plan on me, uh, getting this hood painted. See all that? That's years. That's 10 years of driving back and forth from... New York to Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania back. That's when I used to work at um at my nine to five job that I've had for over seventeen years. And then when I bought this home in two thousand and twelve, from two thousand and twelve to I want to say two thousand and seventeen. Yeah, so for five years, just commuting back and forth, back and forth. So I'm gonna get that painted. I'm gonna get this hood painted. Uh. I want to say by the end of, or no, excuse me, mid-March. Right now, recording of this video, it is February 25th. And I want to say by like the 15th of March, or maybe a little earlier, so I can have it ready by March 15th. I want to get that painted. It's going to cost about $500. It's the same guy that painted my, um, my grill and bumper. You guys are probably wondering why the uh, emblem is no longer here. I took it out because I actually want to weld it in. I'm just very concerned it's going to fall. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix that properly just so by summertime it's good to go. What else? Uh, I want to install... Let's see if I have it here. Please excuse the mess and the dirtiness of this car uh, because of the snowstorm that we had recently. It's just there's no reason to get this car clean. All right, so this is the uh, spacers that I'm going to use for this carpet. Mainly, I want to use it on the front. Why the front? Just because if you guys plan on purchasing a Hyundai Genesis wheels, R-Spec wheels for your car, the 19-inch rims, or even the 18-inch rims, you'll notice that the rears are slightly bigger than the, than the front. For example, these are 19 by 8. The back is 19 by 8.5. Um, so what I want to do is just so I can have it flush well, I want to, um, put these spacers in. I haven't even opened this just because I haven't had the, the chance to, uh, to, uh, install the front. So that's talking about that. Uh, let's see what else we can discuss. I already have the wrap for what I'm about to discuss next. It's black wrap. I have, if you look closely right there, I have two long tubes actually another one but i'm not going to discuss that one but you can see two long tubes that is my black wrap why i plan on cleaning this part of the car this right here the bottom spoiler all that i want to clean it out take it out and then i want to wrap it black this side and again on the other side as well i plan on wrapping this right here all the way up to right here and then i have something else that i want to do here i won't discuss that yet reason being is because i'm not sure if it's going to look good or not but i definitely definitely want to wrap this black just to have it and then the tints so I already found someone that I can trust to do my tints on my car. Uh, he said because I already have tints and they're already faded. Uh, look, you can even see the back tints. You can see through them because they're no longer dark as they used to be. Uh, he could do them all for 300. I can't, I can't remember if he said 300 or 350. I want to say 300. 
So the tint is gonna cost me 300. To paint this is gonna cost me 500. I'm already looking at 800. Then another thing that I wanna get on this car is the push to start button. He said uh, get the uh, product and he can install it for 250. Um, I would do it, but I just don't trust myself enough to take out that whole console and start messing around with the ignition wire. I'm not gonna do that. This is the same person that installed my seats. He, I can trust him. He, um, people are people um, say good words about him just because he's been in the streets doing this. Well, not in the streets, but local here uh, in East Strasburg, and they recommend him. And he's the one that did my seats, so I'm glad for that. Um, he's gonna charge me 250, but I have to get the part. Um, so right now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for a good company, a reliable company that I can buy the ignition switch and all those parts that I need to get it installed in this car. So I'm looking at just the parts, the uh, the product, probably $200. So if you look at it right now, 500 for this, uh, 300 for the tins, that's 800, 200 just for the uh, parts for the remote start, not remote start, engine start. Cause remote start is something that you just press with your button and it starts the car. That's cool, I believe that already comes with it, but I mainly want that push to start button. I don't want a key anymore. And the one that I'm looking for is the one that you press the button and starts the car, but also when you get near your car, you don't have to um, unlock it, it unlocks by itself. That's an awesome feature that I wanna have on this car. Um, so that right there is about a thousand plus the 300 for this 250 I got, the guy said. So it's, I'm already looking at 1250 in total for just three things that I can't do myself. Again, tints I can't and won't do myself. Uh, the installation of the engine, the push start engine uh, product, that right there, plus the painting on the hood, I'm already looking at 1250. Installation, everything included. 1250 just on that. So now, like I mentioned, this, the spacers, I'm gonna do it myself because I already got the product. So I don't even count that as a cost anymore because I already had spent my money on that uh, months ago. The wrap that I had just purchased, it wasn't more than I, $30. It's a long wrap on this part right here. I wanna have that black, that black, and again on the other side. So that discussed that. Now let's go inside. Uh, oh, actually, and let me, uh, before we go inside the car, let's talk about what I plan on doing here. Please excuse the mess. i tired of the blue fog lights. I know I had just installed it about three months ago, but I don't like it. I'm gonna actually remove my fog lights like I did in my previous video, remove the fog lights. I'm gonna remove the bumper just so I can easily remove that film and add the black tint film and then put that back on and right before I put the bumper back on. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about, the splitters. These splitters right here. I also have this long box all the way to the ground. That's the splitter for the side skirts. I'm going to show you guys an image on what I'm talking about. It's already there. It's purchased. It's just stored there. This one right here is for the front bumper. I do not have anything for the back bumper, which is fine. I don't want to do anything. I just want to put the splitter on the front. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let me open this later. I'm going to have to zoom that out because I just I think I just showed you guys my address and everything. All right, so I'll edit that out. Um, now let's talk about what I plan on doing on the inside of this car. Let me take my iPad. There's a reason why I brought out the iPad. Okay, iPad mini. I also purchased the uh, leather uh, repair kit. I just haven't had time again because it's cold and I don't want to work in the car when it's cold because I feel like I do a shitty job, excuse my language. I do a poopy job knowing that it's cold and I just want to go inside. All right, so now let's talk about this right here. One thing is this little guy right here. It's actually right here, it just fell out. I just got to clean it and then put it back. Where did I get this? This is actually this one. 
it's on the other side as well. It's because, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have cream doors, beige doors, just like this. Uh, when I purchased these, the old ones I threw away. I should have resold them online, but I didn't. I, at that time, I wasn't a reseller. So before I threw them away, I kept the, um, the buttons, the switches. I sold this switch recently because I had just had it stored in my garage, so I sold it. But I removed the infinity emblems, and I kept it, and it's good to have it here. So I just gotta redo that. But the reason why I'm showing you guys my interior is because my iPad, this is the new iPad that my wife bought me for Christmas this year. The old iPad that I've had for years and years, I gave to my child, my youngest son, because he likes watching videos. Well, here's the problem. That iPad that my kid has, which doesn't have much memory, which sucked, um, easily was easily able to install it here install there and then all i had to do was just press the button and it'll pop out because there's magnets right there well now the problem is this is a new ipad and it's slightly bigger so i cannot install it properly see it just doesn't fit so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to dismantle deassemble all of this take that out and modify it again so it can fit this but i'm very glad that i got this ipad because it has so much memories and i'm gonna get i'm gonna try to sync this because right now it doesn't work with my phone this i only get internet through um through wi-fi at home in the streets it doesn't work i'm gonna try to mirror it with my phone so whenever whatever i'm looking at my phone appears on the screen perfect for uh google maps perfect for our youtube videos on the road so that's what i'm planning on doing right now i don't know if you guys notice in my photos that i take or when i show you guys uh my day-to-day -day videos on my car you'll never see an ipad here that's because my kid my four-year-old boy now has it and this is the new one that i want to work on to install it here now let's talk about this area right here i want to black that out but before i black that out and black this out I want to black this, this, and excuse me, and on the other side. That's my main goal. Black that out, black that out. So when I'm going to do that, that's when I'll start working on that. So those are the plans that I have right now, guys. Sorry for taking this, taking too long discussing what I plan on doing, but yeah. Do I love this car? F, yeah. I've done so much to this car and, and just now, after 10 years of owning this car, it is finally looking the way I want it to look. Red seats would have been nice, but you know what? Black is great as well because that, I mean, excuse me, brown is great because it also matches my steering wheel. If you guys don't know, that's an Azera steering wheel, 2006 to 2010, Hyundai Azera. It'll fit your Sonata. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Oh, and those seats, if you guys are interested the person that was gonna buy them unfortunately got into a car accident he's fine but his car is not and uh, i told him you know i'm sorry that um it happened because i believe he was on his way or the same day that he was on his way to get these seats he got into a car accident and you know it's unfortunate because he has a nice white sonata if i still have the photo i'm gonna post it in this video of his car um he was gonna buy these but if you're interested let me know if not i'm gonna start Deassembling the seats. I already deassembled the headrest. Um, but I'm going to start de deassembling all these parts and just start putting them on my eBay store. As you can see over here, I have so much products there, there, and here, except for that row at the bottom. That bin that I have here is upstairs in the office. I'm just continuing working on it. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is my garage slash warehouse. That's my car. And I hope you guys found this video uh, entertaining. If you found it entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Last but not least, my he my headlights. Those headlights, I mean, like, these are going to be my V3s. I already did the previous V1 and V2s. These V3s I'll be working on in April, end of April. I have some juicy stuff that I don't want to show yet because I don't want anybody taking, uh, taking my ideas because I know I won't be working it until April but I got some awesome ideas on these V3s that I'll be working on. So this car concept will be white and black. All right, guys.
Thank you.